We are now exiting the holiday season and not surprisingly into the divorce season. Government statistics show that most divorces are filed between January and March and the divorce landscape has changed quite a bit in recent years. Local four business editor and certified financial planner Rod Maloney is here with a look at how best to protect yourself. For about a generation now, we've believed that half of all marriages in the United States end in divorce. The good news here is that number is actually way high anymore. It's dropped down quite a bit. And yet, for all of those divorces that end in acrimony, and many still do, they don't all have to, and that's part of the new change. But what's most important for anybody facing this difficulty, you need to make sure you do some planning before you go in. The number one threat to a person's a financial well-being is divorce. Divorce is a, a wealth destructive event for both parties. Certified financial planners Julie Quick and Rick Kaler see it all too often. Couples ther therapy can be expensive, but nowhere near as expensive as a divorce. So it, it makes a lot of sense to pay some attention to this. Gray divorce can be especially disastrous. And the Census Bureau says gray divorce, baby boomers, is the number one group separating these days. CFP and certified divorce financial analyst Julie Quick of Cultivate Financial Wellness tells us the divorce landscape is changing. There are four differing kinds. The do-it-yourself divorce, which is not recommended. There's the well-known litigated divorce where the attorneys do battle. But there are two other choices, collaborative and mediated. You and your spouse may be a good fit for mediation or collaborative divorce, which is a much more family-focused, um, amicable separation. It's not for everybody, but I think a lot of people don't, uh, don't look to those other methods as a possible solution for themselves. Which may bring a far less financially destructive end. Now, if you find yourself in this bad spot, setting aside emotions and digging into advance planning is vital, says credit expert Beverly Harzog, particularly for women. You want to be sure that you're developing your own credit, you know, so that, you know, after a, a divorce or, you know, sometimes the spouse will pass away, you've got a similar situation, you know, have your own credit so that you don't have any financial setbacks. You can just keep going because you've got good credit in your name. The final consideration the experts tell me is you need to know exactly how much life is going to cost post-divorce and how you're going to manage that cost. The best advice here is to have a financial planner get you through. Rod Maloney, Local 4. Thank you, Rod. Great information as always. And if you missed any of it, we are posting all of Rod's year-end financial stories on clickondetroit.com.